That's click why on this. I'm actually low key kind of chuffed that you didn't have to put any buzzwords in my titles. I'm just that interesting all on my own. <laughs> that's a that's a valid point. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna take away from it. What did he do to you? I gotta ask. Nope. Yeah, Everything. Luke. Oh. Luke, what did he do to you? Doll. Tell us where he touched you. Get <laughs> <Right on the doll. laughs> uh, we'll out the teddy bear. Tell us the um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about a lot of the other stuff because I'm talking to Holly with it. Right. But yeah, the stuff exclusive. that like, everyone already knows is kind of like... Um, so at the end of the Toby drama, he was responding to Jar's video. Okay. And because I responded to Norni when she was saying that she was getting like uh, getting called racist for random comments and stuff, I was just like, "Oh yeah, I've had the same thing. Hope you're all right, or whatever." And after that, and uh, between that time and when he made his video, like, not not, <sighs> yeah, you know, I don't know it. It's... I saw him going hard on you though. Uh, he was retweeting yeah. a bunch of negative stuff about you from. Yes, yeah, so it was kind of like. Um... If I can, uh, if I can speak up for a moment, Peaches, I, I want to say how this is kind of stupid, as people are saying like, "Oh, you're getting involved in the drama because you commented on the video," and like, think you're considering that to be getting into the drama. Yeah. I find it to be really stupid. I mean, I think, here's the thing, I think I people should welcome you to open arms. Comment on something without being involved in it. Now, if someone made a video, then that's something I would consider to be like getting involved in the drama. You talking to people about this well, sort of thing. It depends what type of video you're making about it. If you're making a video, to just, if you're making a video to just document what happened or discuss right. it, I don't feel well, like I that's still think, getting involved. I feel like getting involved think, is making an opinion, making claims. Well, that's what I'm trying to get at right here. But or attacking, and know. I'm going to use my own example right here. Like, and this is just me saying like this. I apparently got dragged into it because I left. Funny comment jokes on harsh mm -hmm. opinions and uh, Nani's videos talking about the Toby drama, or it's just basically me taking a lyric from No Straits Roads <laughs> video game, and then I said everyone's okay. got a bit of an ego in this situation, and then apparently that's enough for me to get involved into the entire situation. And just like Peaches, I was actually being getting a lot of comments that were calling me racist for some reason. Yeah, so I was just sympathizing with Nani cool. at that point because I'd already like said that I wasn't gonna like comment on the drama or anything. Like it was stressing me out, and I'd started taking like medication at this point now. Like I was thinking like I'm gonna try and be serious with other stuff, and then obviously I didn't do very well. <laughs> well, I hope you're I hope you're doing a lot um, better now. And so I. I tweeted about that, like, I think most people just saw it as me leaving Twitter because I've always said how, like, Twitter stresses me out. And everyone's like, yeah, okay, fine. And then, like, Manga Karma messages me, and I'm all good. But then um, Luke then makes his video responding to Jar. And then even though I would, I, the last time I was criticised in the drama was on the 6th of October and I wanted to go commit deletion on, like, the 23rd or something, he was like, yeah, she's doing this to hide from criticism. Like, you're... Th this is just very scummy behavior. Says a lot about you, bro. And so... And it's one of those things where it's like... Um, it, it hits you very differently than people like, leaving, like, racism comments and stuff like that. Honestly... Whenever you think that you get the worst comments, you get something like that. And I was just sat watching it, and at first it was kind of more like, um, because he he said some things that were like accurate. Because I I mentioned that where it was like, I you know like I would talk very openly about how I am feeling and stuff, which isn't a good idea. <laughs> mm. Um, but it it. Because he said stuff that was true and then saying like, oh, well, you're suicide baiting your audience and stuff. It made me just start thinking that it was real. And it kind of just hits in a very strange uh, way. I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, don't don't worry about I, it. I, 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 I spoke to people, I yeah, spoke to people about it and stuff because I was going through like a whole whirlwind of stuff. It was like 
kind of like thinking, oh, well, because I didn't do it, then I am lying and blah, 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 blah. And anyway, so I then message him privately because I was thinking like, you know, like, he, he obviously didn't mean it, bro. Like, he was just seeing that and maybe if I talked to him, it'd be all chill. So I message him privately and stuff. Uh, and not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared of everyone. <laughs> That's my thing. So um, I, I tried to message him about it, and then um, uh, he he got back to me about it like a day or two later. I can't remember after Toby herself like uh, retweeted my statement about it, and like like literally like in, in like twenty minutes or so of 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 her retweeting it, it was. Um, it, it was just him messaging me like quite hostile, like going, "Oh well, oh well, fuck, blah, blah, blah. like oh well, you're you're doing this, like you shouldn't be treating me badly. You're just starting drama." And I'm like, "Whoa, okay, I, I've literally just made a statement against your video, yeah, <laughs> and I wasn't even mean about it." Yeah, you were literally and, agreeing with him. <laughs> yeah, like I I literally apologized for like stuff that I did do because like I fell out with Omnia and stuff like that and it was it was just really petty bullshit really and mm. then uh, and I even agreed with Luke on some of his points because like as I said because he he had like truth and just a blatant lie like all mushed together it messed with me a bit but <laughs> but then it was like. Um, <clears throat> so so yeah, I try I try to message him and stuff about it, and he just wasn't taking it. So you know, like I I try to leave it alone. I was like, well, no no one's gonna really believe this. And then I'll go into like a server, and then I'll see people say, oh well, hopeless peaches is suicide baiting. Lol, XD, and out of like a few people messaging me and stuff like that, and. Uh, so I tried to message him again about it uh, a bit later after the drama like completely died because I was thinking, well, if the drama's completely dead, there's like there's there's, there's no point, you know, holding on to it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because <laughs> before he could have been thinking, oh, she's gonna, it could start into a whole tiz, whatever. But I was thinking, right, okay, if drama's dead, I'll I'll message him again and see if he wants to talk about it. It was still like uh, upsetting me and stuff, and yeah. he didn't he didn't respond. Yeah. Obviously, he didn't respond. Yeah, and then uh, he doesn't respond to Chris. So. <laughs> and then, I, I I do have a question, Peaches. I don't mean to interrupt you. Uh-huh. Um. So would would you say that um if you guys would have just like I guess had a dialogue? Since I I I am ignorant to this drama. I'm just now hearing a lot about it. If you guys would have had like some sort of a dialogue or like if he would actually like. You know, yeah, if, if, if it was a conversation, I don't think any of it would have happened. Like, cause <laughs> that I'm sounds kind of like our drama. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not, yeah, really. <laughs> like, I mean, that's not taking it. Almost that. like there's a pattern here. Yeah, yeah. Mm, a pattern of behavior, maybe. Yeah, because well, like technology. calling me, you know, saying what he said about me and stuff, like it hurt, but. It wasn't something that I was gonna like hold a grudge over. It's not like if he turned around and just said, "Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'll take that bit out of my video or whatever," then I would just be thinking, "Yeah, cool, awesome. I was able to talk to someone, and I would just feel happy about it." Like, but the more it just started like built, like it was kind of like just a snowball effect of like a lot of other. Sh <laughs> um, so yeah, then he he makes his video on me. Um, with another person who, well, uh, like I've, I've I've shown Harley already, but like that was already dealt with in private. Mm. Like it wasn't something that could have been dealt with in private. It already was, and and then another thing from three years ago, which was already apologized for. Like one, two, three, <laughs> uh, so many times. So it's it's kind of like really hard at the moment because like. It, it's just really stressful when you have like people bringing up like legitimate criticism with like a lot of bullshit on top of it and you're like how can I respond to the actual stuff 
most of which I've already apologized for, <laughs> if I didn't mm. have to wade through all the lies to get to that point. And yeah. it's, it's like, honestly feels like, um, mm. it, it, it genuinely feels at this point now that I've been able to, I've had two months of just endless crap, like, I've, I've, <laughs> a lot of harassment, right? A, a lot of it. Like, surprisingly, mm. <laughs> when two people out of the drama who spoke about it starts using a very serious video about you as thumbnails are part of your video, oh, surprisingly, yeah, fucking... it brings people over to that video to go, wow, I'm so, I am feel so bad for your groomer. Bro, I bet she's lying about this too. Bro, lol. Yeah, I know the thumbnail. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I mean, I'm, honestly, I'm still pissed off at Omnia for using that thumbnail. Like, she literally used the thumbnail from your video about being groomed, right? Like, yeah, essentially. Omnia used that, and then Spock she used, it. used it for, like, the majority of his video as well. Mm. And, I and it's just... really annoying because I brought it to her. I went to Omnia. This thumbnail is bad. I will happily make you a new one. You can change it. Just change the thumbnail. And she went, well, another YouTuber did it, so it's okay. <laughs> it's like, don't fucking use that excuse. It's like, if another fucking YouTuber jumped in a fireplace, would you jump in a fireplace? <laughs> like, no. Oh, no. I mean, if you got enough views, I mean. I tried lemming, the lemming I tried, excuse. I tried it, talking. It, <laughs> honestly, like... It's you guys remember that, like, you guys remember that one trend where everyone was, like, looking toilet seats, the coat? Like, oh, God. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it really does feel like after a few months of, like, just endless, more and more track. I had somebody, I was in one server, because I, I mod a server uh, where it, it's just, like, a small YouTuber server. And somebody who I've had barely any interaction with, like, someone who I literally only see because I mod, um, posts a video in the uh, in one of the uh, promotion bits. And it was a video about me saying his personal experience with me. And his caption was, oh, I hope Camilla sees it because she's got like a million subs. Maybe it's my big shot. And I'm like, I've never mm. fucking spoken to you before. Like, what is this? There's a lot of fake people in the commentary community that will say I, what I to get them the most views. That's like, a fact. I fucking that, hate those people. Yeah, yeah, like, luckily that guy came to me and apologized for his video. He's still keeping it up, though, because it's good <laughs> It's good views. But he apologized. Well, I fucking, bro, it. I hate, I hate people in the commentary community, man. There's so many scumbags in this community that will genuinely use anything to get clout. It's like, fuck off. Redzilla. Redzilla is a perfect example. There are just so many scumbags in this community that d they don't care about what's right. They care about what gets them the most views. And it, it's so fucking It's stupid. just the point of just, like, um, after two months of reflecting on it and stuff, like, I've been going up and down, up and down, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And because I know the truth, and hopefully Harley can help me with that, yeah. but the fact that I've already apologized for the stuff that I have done, and I, I haven't done the stuff that people are actually angry with, it's like... It gets to a point where I'm just like I don't, I don't want to apologize again purely because I'm now mad with you all. Ah. I've mm. already said it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> it's just I, I feel like there's a lot of people in the audience that put YouTubers on a pedestal, where like they they put this YouTuber like just some random YouTuber that just makes videos because they enjoy making content. They put them on this like right at the epitome of like content creators like they're amazing they could do no wrong and then when that content creator inevitably makes a mistake because everybody makes a mistake they bash them down like they're the fucking next i don't know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say any offensive people names because i feel like that could get me cancelled but oh. <laughs> you know what i mean they they come down yeah. like you're the next you're the next supreme leader i'll use as a word sure the but good thing about this drama though that i think is uh that i've learned who to actually be able to trust like with commentary mm. and stuff because a lot of people come across as very honest and they honestly genuinely come off as unbiased and not not like a completely perfect channel like they're not like luke or anyone like that you know when you can sense that there's a bit of anger or whatever behind them they're just perfectly straight faced and unbiased and i don't want to name names but i literally had someone come to me like, hey, bro, I want to hear your side. 
I'm like, do you have any evidence? And I show them evidence and stuff, and they go, wow, that changes like the whole narrative, and I'll show oh, them. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I remember. And it's I'm more of this, DM, yeah. more of that. Well, peaches. And I, I don't was mean thinking, you. yeah, and I was, I was just thinking, this person's so unbiased, and they've been through situations like this before. Like, they'll listen to me, and then their video goes up, and then it's just it doesn't show any of it. They even mm. still side with stuff that they that I've proven is false, and mm. then I message them just like, "Hey, I, I've I've got enough people making videos on me. Like, you didn't have to message me for proof. It it kind of comes off a bit weird." And at first, they were just like, "Well, I told you you wouldn't like it," and I was like, "I don't care if you still dislike me after it. It's the fact that I gave you proof of <laughs> other stuff." And they were just mm. like, "Well, uh." Well for, the sake, well, for the sake of PR, I have to pull some strings. Yeah. Like, There's a content creator out there that literally told Peaches that they were basically filtering down, like, their defense of her, basically. Wait, yeah. But for so PR, speaking... it's like... Sorry. It, it annoys me, though. I'm just I'm just going to finish up my sentence and you can talk. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It, it annoys <laughs> me when content creators put PR, like, oh, I want to look good over genuinely someone else's career. It's like... If you know the proper information, if you have the proper information, and you know you have the platform to publicize it, how can you knowingly ignore that evidence just to save your own reputation from getting involved in drama? I feel like that's I mean, kind yeah. of scummy, and creators that do that should probably reevaluate yeah. the reasons why they're on this platform. I, I mean, like hardly we, we though, literally just. Uh, I like to add that to though some of that though, but I'm I'll wait till after Cameron speaks because he's been waiting for a while. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> I just I'm I'm learning a lot right now. But um no, yeah, Harley, we just um we just talked about this actually with the the original PML stuff, but like yeah, no, I I completely agree with what Harley just said. But um Peaches, I did have a question. So mm -hmm. there's the YouTuber uh creep show art. Apparently you guys like had like were friends at one point. Can you explain all that since I am a little ignorant to this and I'm sure some of the audience would like to uh... Yeah, that'd probably um, be that'd probably be better off just like left to videos yeah, about the situation, it, honestly. Yeah, yeah it's probably I've, best I've not to say anything. To like plus with, uh, plus with I've Shane never, I, I've, I've, I have regret. Okay, I mean, you'll, 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 you'll see the context in my documentary. Uh, I'll make sure that I, I'll make sure that I make it very clear so that people understand. Okay, uh, I'm sorry if I asked a bad question, but I. Oh no, 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 you're not. You're not a fault for asking the question. I just think it's no, best that um, Peaches just needs to be very careful, obviously, with. Okay, what said yeah. because it's, no, it's very risky that. it's very risky to say something about a bigger creator and okay you know you'd have you'd probably uh, I know this person. making a bad decision to do that live yeah no yeah peaches i completely get it uh i was in your shoes literally like five months ago i completely understand so so um what do you I think, think luke's uh what do you think is gonna happen to luke by the way i, I just came back <laughs> but like i've let you guys talk for what 10 20 minutes i lost count <laughs> uh what the <laughs> hell is <laughs> going to happen to luke ladies and gentlemen you guys are the panel of people that have not had good experiences with him so why don't you uh, tell me i, I feel uh, i feel like you're I've faded your relevancy I feel like uh, Damn. If, I, okay. Well, 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 my thoughts are is when you're one not interesting, <laughs> and when you're when you're content, <laughs> Harley, Harley, we're trying to fix things with this yeah. guy. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest, right? When your content is uninteresting, it's low quality and it's low effort. And when your research yeah. is very clearly shown to be false on so many accounts, no one's going to come to you anymore. What do they come to you for? If they don't come to you for content quality, <laughs> they come in you for research if your research is awful they're not coming to you at all that's the truth i mean he's not wrong he's not wrong i'm, I'm just being honest if luke can't take that he's, he's probably put more work into his content it's like i think honestly he from someone who's still going through stuff that he's done and uh all that i honestly i honestly do think that he needs to change yeah. Not just for his own sake, but for right. other people. Like, there's one or two ways that it's going to happen if he doesn't. It's either he he says something again that that isn't true, and it affects somebody else like quite severely, um, or it'll just throw back in his face. And I don't want hate being sent to Luke like at all because yeah. like be clear, none of us are sending hate. Yeah. The, the shit that I'm going As you, I'm making a voodoo doll right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. 
<laughs> no, I will make voodoo. I love voodoo. <laughs> the voodoo that you do. <laughs> I make voodoo no, <laughs> But no, like... Who is this Maggie the... guy? I like him. I, I, had someone, <laughs> I had someone literally comparing me to a pool scooter, if you want to try and assume oh. what that sounds like. I'd land. And <laughs> I was told and... to sever my arm and hang myself with it. Don't worry. <laughs> With this, the amount of people in this community, yeah, hey, I've been told worse. Hate, yeah, with the amount of hate that I've got over like, what fall with what are the claims against me falling out with some people, I, so I don't want hate going to Luke like at all. If if it if it can well, end with him like understanding or taking right. a long break and coming back, that would be good. Because I'm honestly like I want to talk about Luke. And finally come out with stuff not just for like other people but for himself because like i don't want anyone else getting through any hate or anything that's just completely unnecessary at the end of the day honestly i yeah. think i think there's a good uh, phrase to define someone like luke i luke do want like to um... loaded gun right luke is like a child of a loaded gun he is very dangerous because he has a weapon obviously that can cause a lot of damage but he has no <laughs> idea how to use it so he ends That's up firing of off randomly and hitting people with fucking awful shots, you know? So he's and a it's slanderer, like, basically. And he doesn't realize the impact of his videos. Like, now that I've experienced three of them, I'm, I think I can confidently say that I, kn I know what it feels like to, to have that kind of hate mob put against you. It's, it's <laughs> a really awful, it's a really awful feeling. Uh, just oh, have yeah, your DM well, yeah. like, I bet you guys never got that. doxed over a game theory. <laughs> oh, by the way, okay, I do want to. I do want to get my two cents about Luke because I, I, I do want to. Um, I guess give my side. I have had. I have yet to have a bad experience with Luke. Um, if it happens, it happens. But I will say, I now looking at this from a wider perspective, uh, I can see where he has caused damage. And, but knowing him personally, I don't see him as like as an intentionally destructive person. If he, if that, is, if I'm, yeah. yeah, and if I'm wrong, and I'm wrong. Oh, not he's in the chat. As, as I as I said, Luke is like a child of a loaded gun. Well, he doesn't realize the kind of impact that his yeah. actions have. Yeah, I, I, I doubt he does. His videos are opinions. Like he said that himself in his response yeah, to Braxton. Yeah, yeah. He, he takes it as his own takes. He doesn't take it as like a like an expose. He takes it as his own opinion, his take. But the problem mm, is, people him. take his words as an expose. Yeah. Mm. Just we could watch it in the background without even looking at the evidence. It's like exactly. people, people just blindly follow what he says because he's got this significant number of subscribers, which means that he must be right. It's right. Like, there's a lot of things Luke says and does, which are very. And by immediate. that logic, Onision can never be wrong. I mean, yeah, like he should. Like he's got, he's got pedof he, he makes pedophile allegations against people all the time, and he re he spends like a day max researching them. It's like <laughs> he does. Yeah, You're right. <laughs> also, yeah. just to make clear, I'm not comp I'm not saying Luke is like Onision. I'm just making a very outlandish <laughs> joke right here. Okay. <laughs> we gotta be very um, clear. You know, you should guys <laughs> Chris Hansen. Yeah. Oh, oh no. man, who's Nani? Anyway, who's Nani? Uh, she's a, she's one. She's a big creator with like I think over two hundred k okay. right now. Oh nice. Oh wait, clout, clout. Yeah, <laughs> clout? we need that clout, guys. We wait, need that wait, wait, clout. Wait. Harmacy XD prison mate Luke eats slime at three a.m. I agree. Hi, okay. I am uh, nobody F three hundred five here. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> Change your name to that, please. Like nobody F three hundred five. Okay. Yes, it has a good ring to it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I lost so, yeah. money for the dip. I get fifty Adam. If you want to know, I think, like, this is just going to keep going on forever if we keep adding people. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Okay. Dude, I, I, I'm so enjoying this. He keeps getting donations. <laughs> might as well keep going it. He can get rich off of this. I mean, yeah, uh, this five, five seconds rip. of fame. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. It's fun. So, uh, it's, so, been uh, nice, it's nice being able to talk. <laughs> oh, of course, people. <laughs> like, you deserve a platform. I don't care, yeah. like... Even even if what you just said isn't seemed... Peaches bigger than like all of us here, uh, except oh, for uh, just stop. Um, <laughs> I mean, I Peaches needs a platform. Charles. Come on, bro. Like, well, you have like seventy nine k, right? You want to be a whiny little brat who always gets his <laughs> 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 No, that's one, what one thing Charles I have. Is. He's a spoiled brat. <sighs> well, I can 
spoiled brat. If I, I love how to just stop unironically is acting like the most mature out of all of us. It's it's fucking that baffling to me. <laughs> and, it, and it's funny yeah, because I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest. I'm the same age. I, I'm, I'm the same age, so just by association. Damn. Just, you know, <laughs> I, I get stop, to miss bro. out on the fact that Rex is just the smartest person in this call. I mean, yeah, I can agree to that. His video. Uh, excuse me, I'm so. a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you guys are fun. Even uh, Cameron is not as bad as I was expecting. Um, I'm no glad person. I'm not a bad person. Let's why? Go. Why Let's did you go. even go to Luke That's in the first good. place? Why? Thing, you yeah. actually decided to take the time to talk to people about this sort of thing, which I can yeah. applaud. Even though you're mostly like you're talking shit about a whole bunch of people. Oh like, yeah. Oh yes. But you know, I oh, love yeah. making the time to talk to me. Like <laughs> I want to say, and this is not just a problem with Luke. Yeah. It's another bunch of people. They're like, whenever they talk to people. And I'm pretty sure Just Stop has a story that he wants to share because he was talking about it earlier, but we cut him off. <laughs> <sighs> nice. But here's the thing. People, they whenever they make a video about someone they don't like, they automatically assume the worst about them, and they don't want right. to listen to anything they have to say. But mm -hmm. And here's something that I can explain, too, because there was a point against Peaches that was brought up about how, oh, she edited the script that Jar and Manga Common made for that yeah. stupid video. Yeah. <laughs> When, and when I was trying to tell people that, first <coughs> off, he just only did, like, one suggestion about grammar. To mock two, him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you grammar Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> um, two, she didn't offer any suggestions for points. And three, that was the previous script, the one that wasn't used in the actual video, but one that was made before... Jar and Fuchsia got in on the call, yeah. so the script immediately yeah. changed. But no one wants to fucking listen to me. Yeah, like, when like, sir, on the like I've said that as well. I've said that to a few people, but they keep bringing up the whole, oh, it was 18 hours after she last spoke to me. Isn't that so weird? Oh, it's so fucking stupid because I know for a God that Omnia basically got. Hey, said, welcome We're to the call. Friends, peaches. Hello. Yeah, she, she did literally. She's been flip flopping so much. Like I actually know Omnia. I've I've got oh, nothing. Bitch. I've, <laughs> I've, I've but, got nothing against her at all. But it was just the fact that like right after, because I've 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 shown it to Holly. But I won't get into that. But the thing that is public is like um, like we had a spat, obviously, and. And she turns around and says, like, oh, well, we were never friends. It's weird that you would assume that. And then all of a sudden it's, yeah, we were, like, really good friends. <laughs> Harley. <laughs> <When I'm> getting... <laughs> I want to make it clear right now. I admit, the video I did with Jar, it was crappy. Of course, there were things in there that weren't in the original script. Like, holy fuck, Jar, I, if you ever hear this, I don't remember us putting cuties in the script. And I should have. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I heard that line, and I was like, "You just know someone. Someone just had such a bad mistake while script writing. Yeah. They were like, let's be edgy, and then they completely I'm not, fucked it.' Right. Let me say it like now. Like, I take full responsibility for that whole thing. It's part of my problem. I'm an adult. I can accept. Hey, I fucked up here. But what I don't appreciate is people using that one fucking edit against Peaches here because she didn't have a goddamn thing to actually do with the script. No one wanted to listen to me because Omnia said, I don't trust Manga Common Jar or Fuchsia <laughs> because they've shown that they can't be trusted by criticizing people because they'll do selective criticism. And like, you don't even know me. And you got that yeah. screenshot because someone went behind my back and they even admitted that they did it and they were wrong about doing so. Mm. What does that say about you? It doesn't really help that the edit also even has a date on it that shows that it was way before 